A note on the Cabero family's front lawn says it all. Please return what you have stolen so we can heal from losing our son. It's about a family struggling, struggling to deal with a murder mystery that was followed by their loss of their son's memento. So our Chris Trankman is live in the newsroom with more. Well, a couple of fishing rods may not seem important, but to the Cuberos, they are priceless. After their son was killed near Gandhi Boulevard in late March, those poles hold their most treasured memories. Fishing was the heart and soul of Robert Medley when the 28-year-old disappeared while doing what he loved near Gandhi Boulevard in Pinellas County. And with his body being found near the Hillsborough County side of the bridge, his family couldn't describe the sadness. It's been very difficult to move on because there are so many unanswered questions. Gene and Dennis Cubero say they still don't know how their son died and they had just started to rebuild their lives when a thief stole something out of their garage very dear to their hearts, Medley's fishing poles. He had his clothes and he loved fishing, he loved his poles and it was the one thing I had left of him. At a loss for spoken words, Jean Cubero decided to write a note and placed it on her front lawn asking the thief to bring the poles back. This is, uh, this is our son, uh, he's no longer with us. So this is uh, very, very important to us that if it's possible, if we can get these rods back, uh, we have a piece of Robert back in our lives. The picture of the note has spread through social media sites, and the Cubero family hope that it leads to someone spotting the poles, or at least convinces the suspect to return them voluntarily. Whoever took the rods brings them back. Uh, you know, just bring them back at nighttime and set them on the other side of the fence. We don't care who you are. Uh, just bring them back because... Um, that's all we have left of Robert. Now the Cuberos tell me they've received lots of support from friends and family who have seen the picture on the lawn. But of course, what they really want is for someone to recover the fishing poles and bring them back. Reporting live in the newsroom, Chris Trankman, ABC Action News. Thank you.